Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is happening. I have got the first ever China made LJ3647 motherboard from Huanangzhi. And now let me take it out of this box and quickly go through the motherboard to see what we have got. A part of the motherboard, we have this CPU installation brackets. Then we have two SATA cables. We have this kind of a warranty card. I'm not sure if it is of any use outside of China, but they claim three year warranty. Then we have the IO shield and we have uh, some motherboard installation screws. And here is the motherboard itself. Uh, I can see here some leftovers from something. I'm not sure what it is but it indicates that most likely the seller tested the motherboard before sending to me, which is good, I guess. So, a quick spec overview, I guess. I'm not yet sure what's connected where and how many PCI Express lanes we get in each of these slots that has to be tested, but here we have X8, X8, and then X16, 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 X16. X16. Additionally, we have M.2 slot over here, M.2 slot over here, then we have two standard SATA ports over here, and here we have three SAS connectors, which are supposed to be uh, splitted into four more SATA ports. Let me see, yeah, this just takes out like that. It's just a plastic plug, and to here you can connect a SAS connector that turns into a SATA, into four SATA ports. So here, uh, three by four will be 12, and here two extra, will be 14 SATA ports, but I'm not sure if each of these can be split into four SATA ports. Then over here, these tiny ones, I believe these are Oculink connectors. Let me try to remove one of these plastic plugs. Yes, this is indeed an Oculink connector. Unfortunately, I don't have any Oculink cables to test this and see uh, if uh, this is PCI Express X4 or how many lanes we have here. Usually though, these Oculink connectors are PCI Express 3.0 X4 and connect that straight to the CPU. Let's see if I find something more interesting on this motherboard. This seems to be a standard USB port. It also has this plastic jack and this seems to be USB 3.0, which would be very convenient to install your base system like uh, TrueNAS or Unraid. And uh, right over here we also have a 3.0 USB header for the front panel. Then over here I see IPMI chip SPEED AST2500 and I don't know if it works or if it doesn't work correctly, but if it works that would be very nice. This one looks like a slot for a SIM card, but I'm not sure what this actually. If it is a slot for SIM card, this means that you can have mobile connection from this motherboard, or maybe this is for SD cards. I need to check in the manual or ask Huananju. What's more interesting to cover here? I guess we need to take a look at the rear panel I.O. And over here we have, this is supposed to be the IPMI network port connected to the S-Speed IPMI adapter. Then we have here COM port, VGA port. This VGA is supposed to be connected to S-Speed as well. And then we have here two network jacks, two USB 2 and two USB 3. I don't know if these are 10 gigabit, uh, two and a half gigabit or one gigabit either NAT uh, adapters, but we have at least two of them. In terms of CPU and memory support, as you could have guessed it, we have two sockets for Intel LJ3647 CPUs, and each of the sockets has eight memory slots. This means that we have six memory channels for each of the CPUs. These gray slots, these are additional slots for one of the memory channels, which means that for this memory channel and this memory channel, we have uh, two memory slots, and for the other four, these two and these two, we have only one memory channel, uh, sorry, only one memory slot per channel. So for the best performance you would have to use six memory stakes per CPU and for the maximum memory amount you would use all eight memory slots per CPU. 
The power connectors are located over here, which I think is rather convenient. Everything is all together here. 24 pin, 8 pin for one CPU and 8 pin for another CPU. Then we also have a plethora of 4 pin fan connectors. One, two, three over here. Let's see where I have more. Uh, four, five, six, seven and I guess that's it. So we have seven four pin fan connectors. I'm not sure if this motherboard has a smart fan function uh, working properly or not, but at least we have seven fan connectors. In terms of VRM, I can't really say much before testing, but as far as I know, the motherboard is limited to 165 watt CPUs. So something like a Xeon, so something like Xeon Platinum 8124M with a 240 watt TDP should not work here, but I will test that and see if that works. Together with this motherboard, I also bought two CPU coolers from Huananji, like this one. So let me take this one out of the box and see if it's actually fitting the motherboard or no. According to Huananji, this CPU cooler is capable of dissipating 165 watt of heat, but what will be in reality, only testing will show. So I obviously don't want to screw the thermal paste applied over here. Uh, so I will just try to check if it fits. Yes, indeed it fits. So I'm pretty happy that I have got two compatible CPU coolers for the motherboard. And for now, my plan is to test the motherboard with the two Xeon Gold uh, 6138 CPUs. If I remember correctly, 6138 are 125W TDP CPUs and they shall have no problems working on this motherboard. If you're interested to see detailed test review of this uh, Huananji LJ3647 dual socket motherboard that is by the way called X11D16D, then please follow me on the main channel, the detailed review will be available there.